And introducing to you, making his way to the right one, the current CSFC lightweight champion, Jack Williams! our CSFC 8 main event. It's a lightweight title fight between Georgi Stoyanov of Bulgaria, who's coming to challenge Jack Grant from right here in Yorkshire. Grant took the title 
and he beat Jason Ball by KO. Something not many fighters can say they've done. But Stoyanov, 18 and four. That's a huge record, lots of experience. And uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be a tough test for Grant. But Grant, you know, he's not afraid to take these tough tests. Uh, he's fought some very tough guys already in his young career. He impresses every time, actually. Just seems to get better and better. But this has got to be the biggest test for him. A guy who's had 22 fights. Yeah, and with that kind of win ratio. And on high level shows as well, like M1, you know, he's, uh, Stoyanov's been there, he's seen it, and he's done it. And it looks very composed. Yeah. I mean, Jackie's a monstrous lightweight. Monstrous. So sharp with his shots as well. So, so far, we're not really seeing any action. Both these fighters just taking it slowly, biding their time. Nice jab there from Grant. Big overhand right from Stoyanov. That's going to be his shot if, he, if, he, uh, if he's going to land anything. Stepping in, slipping, and that overhand right over the top. He's got a lot of distance to make up. Nice fainting, great low kick. Stoyanov just being stalked and he's letting Grant back him on the fence. That's not where he wants to be. When Jack Grant gets guys on the fence, he unleashes heavy, heavy shots. And we've seen him finish a lot of guys in that position. He's got a really unorthodox style on Jack Grant. It's kind of, you know, this kind of wide base stance, stalking his opponent, lovely sprawl. Yeah, and almost zero respect for Stoyanov striking, but he pitched that baseball right from the rafters. Yeah. Shoot to right hand there, nice. Uh, he's almost sprawled out of it, looking for the switches. Grant Stoyanov's a strong wrestler, but Grant gets on top, and he's got a very good head and arm show. Yeah, and he'll know from this position. He'll be desperate to go for that. He's taken instead. He's got half a cradle there. He's going to try and roll him. Yeah, and you know, Grant has got to be the best part of uh, 170 pounds today, if not more. Yeah. Big lad. He must caught a lot of weight. Still a young lad as well, and it, you know he's like a sponge. Every time we see him, he's improving. You see Stoyanov trying to hold on to that, but they're back on their feet. And I tell you what was good there. Jack did not back right off. He stood up, he stayed close, so he can start again with his assault. Yeah, he's so confident with his striking. You can see that so relaxed, like water, as the old lad goes. <laughs> Stoyanov stepping in with that right hand. He hasn't yet found the mark. I think he's struggling to get that distance close, to be honest. There's a big height difference between the two of them. Goes a front kick to the body, I think that hurt him there. Might have just caught him under the floating rib. Stoyanov went down quite quickly. He's on that single now. He needs to get that to his chest if he stands a chance of getting uh, Jack Grant down. Jack, Jack Grant went for the elbows then and Stoyanov saw that as his chance to try and rip the leg. He needs to be careful with that front choke. Lost it now. On that reaching for that far leg for the low single, but Grant, Grant might come out to the back. That leg's in an unorthodox position though. He can get away with that because of his, uh, the length of him though. You know, it, it, for the rest of us, that'd probably be quite a, quite a difficult position to be in, but he's just used it to take the back. Yeah, and there is a triangle from there as well. Yeah, that reverse triangle could be really interesting. And he's, uh, he's seeing how good his submissions can he's be. He's going for it. He's locking his legs up. Yeah, but Stoyanov, you know, he's a well-versed grappler. He'll know when the submissions are being set up. He needs to be very careful. Jack's got his back properly now, both hooks in. He's crossing his feet, though. Yeah, let's see if Stoyanov can hold this off. If Grant can flatten him out and throw the punches, he throws everything with real bad intentions. And he's very heavy-handed. But what shows elbows, a bit of a downward strike, that. He didn't get called on it, but... See, Stoyanov is trying to lock the legs because he's gotten crossed. I don't think I've ever seen that actually submit anybody in MMA, but you see it on the mats in the gym all the time. Grant's yeah. flattened him out now. This is a bad spot for Stoyanov. I think it's one of those that when the adrenaline's flowing, it doesn't hurt, but in the gym. See Jack trying to prise the chin open with his fingers, get under the chin. Stoyanov's done a good job to get back up to his knees. Jack should flatten him out. He's taken one hook out, though. I think he's going to try and get back to his feet. And maybe hit him with that right hand if he can get the angle. He's looking for, oh, he's uh, going for the, Is he going the for the car crush? crush? He's gone for it. And he's, he's got twisting it. the knee. That, oh, that looks nasty. Gone for that calf crush. It's, it's, that is a very unorthodox submission. He's There's got the a tap. tap. i tell you what, I have never seen that in MMA. I've never seen it. Unbelievable submission from Jack Grant. 
Unbelievable, and this kid gets better and better. Not only can he knock people out, but he can submit you with all sorts of crazy stuff. So ladies and gentlemen, that 